Hi, welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial today. What I'm showing you how to do is make smooth progress bars or animated progress bars for something like health or energy or whatnot. Um, so with that said, let's get into it. If you want to skip to the end, I'll have a demonstration and then you can just come back. With that said, let's get into it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a widget. So right click user interface widget blueprint, click common user widget, W, we'll call this health, health bar, okay? And then what we need to do is you're, if you're in UE4, you already have a canvas panel here, but if you're in UE5, then you need to get a canvas panel, okay? And then what we need to do is we need to get a progress bar, all right? We're gonna place this in here, we're gonna make it pretty big, um, and then we're gonna put it right here. And now, as you can see, it has progress that we can use, however, it's not tied to anything yet. Um, we are gonna make this red under fill color and opacity. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go into our character first, our third person character. Uh, this is going to be your own character in your own game. Okay, and now we have him here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a variable called, called health. Alright, we're going to make that a float. And then we want to create one called is healing. Alright, and we're going to make that a boolean. Okay. So first thing we want to do is make a custom event. We're going to call this increment health. All right. And what we're going to do is we are going to get a Boolean for uh, branch. We're going to do that. And then off true. Okay. What we're going to do is we are going to set the health. And um, I forgot one thing. We're going to do and. We're going to do an and boolean, and the reason we're doing this and boolean is we don't want to heal if it's above 1.0 already. So we're going to get that. We're going to get health. We're going to do less than. All right, and we're going to do 1.0. All right, now we're going to plug that in, and we'll have if we're healing and if the health is less than 1.0, we can run this code. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to set the health. Okay, we're going to set the health. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use lerp, lerp, which will interpolate between two values, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to get world uh, delta seconds for the alpha, okay? And I accidentally created a widget up here and then remove that. Okay, so we're going to get world delta seconds, and then for the A, we're going to get the health, and then for B, what we're going to do is we're going to get the health, but we're going to plus it or add it by whatever number we want. So in this case, I'm going to set the health to be 40% higher. So we're going to do 4.0. Okay, and I'll show you why we're using 4.0 in just a second. Um, okay, so I want it to be 40% higher. Now it's at 0 0.2 right now. And now we need to tell this progress bar, hey, bind the percent to the health variable we made. So we're going to go to create binding, and we're going to cast to third person character. This will be your own character that you have. All right. And we're going to get get player character. We're going to get health. Okay. We're going to get health, and then we're going to plug it into return. And then what we need to do is we need to get tick. Okay. And now I recommend using a timeline or a timer on something like 0 0.05, 0 0.02, um, something like that, just because tick's pretty expensive and even a timer at a low level, a low time like that is going to be like 10 per, 10 percent, 10 times more performant or something. Um, so just be aware of that in your final game. So, uh, so what we're going to do is we're not going to get this. We are going to call increment health. Okay. We're going to call increment health. And then on the F key, I recommend you create your own key binding or your own event, such as, you know, if you take damage, you'd run this. You'd, you'd, uh, you'd set this boolean to true. But you want to set is healing to be true. Okay. And now we want to set delay to 0 0.1. And we want to set this to false. Oh, that's health. We want to set is healing to false. And the reason we're doing 0 0.1, okay, is basically think of this as the value of one and think of this as 40%. So health goes from 0.0, .0 to 1.0. 
And so basically what we're doing is we're saying, hey, we want to up by 4% uh, 4 or 40%. So normally that would be you know, 0 0.4. However, we want to multiply that by 0 0.1. So we're going to do 4.0. So 1 times 40 is 40. So just imagine that decimal is not there. So 1 times 40 is 40. So if we do you know, 1 times 20, 1 times 10, 1 times 0 0.5, etc., it'll do the same thing. So that's basically why we're doing 0 0.1 and we're doing these numbers. Okay, so now the final thing we need to do is we need to go to begin play and create widget. We're going to call this health bar. I recommend adding this health bar to your own HUD instead of doing it this way in your own game. However, I'm just going to make one widget for this. Okay, so let's go ahead and test this out. So we have a progress bar. And when I press F, it'll go up 40%, and it won't do it again until uh, it reaches zero. Now, if I and I'm going to show you what I mean by this number changes. So let's say I wanted to do 10%. So that's 1.0 or 10 if you take out the decimal. Now it's going to go up 10% each time. Okay, it's going to go up 10%. If we did um, 0. Uh, 0. 0.05, which is 5%. Okay, so increment of five, it's going to do that. It's going to keep doing that. Now, uh, just final example, let's do uh, 8.0. This should bring it to the full health. There you go, full health. Um, that's basically how you do it. If you like this video, hit the like, hit the subscribe, uh, leave a comment if you want to see anything else. Thank you.